morning and welcome back to Questioning Sense with me, Matt. I hope you guys are well. We are all doing swimmingly. Uh, London's in the middle of a heat wave, hence my, uh, my attire. I love the sunshine. It's absolutely fantastic. I mean, it has been super, super hot as well. So I've been in my element. Anyway, enough waffle. Let's talk about some perfume. Um, my friends at Aroma Concepts have sent me a two new ones to have a look at. And these are from Paris Corner who you will remember are responsible for the Ministry of Oud series of perfumes that I've, uh, I think I've reviewed them all. Oh no, there's one more left to do, which we will get round to. Um, and I was really quite impressed with them, so I was interested to see what they were going. Now these are called North Stag, which is, I think, Paris Corner's kind of more niche line or more luxury line. So, you know, they've actually really, really gone to town in terms of presentation and the bottles and everything like that. So we have two to look at today. The first one we will look at will be called Wheat or Eight, and that's the outer box it comes in. It's all very, very lovely. And then we have another one called Sept or Seven, which again, there's the outer box. The inner boxes and everything else are absolutely gorgeous. Um, so there's the, the box that comes yeah, the perfume actually sits in. Beautiful. And yes, I know I'm talking about a box, which doesn't happen very often, but I thought, you know, these are done so well, we better have a look at them. And then your perfume sits in the box like that. The bottles are phenomenal. They weigh an absolute ton. They're a big 100 mil. Um, and these are extra de parfum as well. So there you have a look at the bottle. The caps are lovely. They're quite heavy um, with this wonderful little inlay on the top of the cap. Um, very functional spray. The atomizer is actually really, really good. Um, and there you have it. So we've got two to look at today and we'll go with this one first, which is wheat. Now I will say before we get into the review that these are going to be quite familiar. Um, I was hoping that the North Stag perfumes were going to be original, but they're not. They are inspirations, um, which is okay. I mean, I haven't got an issue with clones. I've talked about them many, many times, but I'm not going to get into the whole clone debate. We're here just to talk about the perfume themselves. So this one is the first one we're going to look at. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we are in the middle of a heat wave, so I've not had a chance to wear this one to work yet. I have worn it around the house, which is okay. You do get to understand the perfume. You get to understand how it smells, but I never really fully appreciate a perfume until I've worn it to work or you know worn it out socially or something like that because you, you you just get better feedback rather than um, just boring your family to tears asking them constantly to tell 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 you how I'm smelling and stuff like that my, my family's sick of it so I don't get much assistance <laughs> when I'm reviewing new perfumes anymore they, they're well over that now um, so unfortunately as I say I haven't had a chance to wear it to work to give it a full road test but what we'll do now is I'm going to spray a little bit on this arm and we'll go through the notes and we'll talk about who can wear it, that kind of thing. Okay, so let's have a little spray now. I lost the, here we go. As you can see, fantastic atomizer. It really does belt out. Okay, so let's have a look at the notes. Okay, so on the top you have pink pepper and bergamot, and then you have lavender and you have grapefruit, you have saffron, you have cinnamon, and you have more pepper. This time it's black pepper. And then we have tobacco, we have vanilla, and we have leather with a little bit of vetiver. Does that sound familiar? Well, it should do. It's uh, it's it's pretty much Spice Bomb uh, by Victor and Rolf, and that's the you know where this what this perfume's inspired by, and it does it very very well. You know, it's lovely. You've got that sharpness from the pepper, the tiny little hint of something citrus, but it's all carried by this lovely lavender, a little bit more citrus and the sort of sweetness from the saffron. And then, you know, obviously it is going to be quite a peppery one. And then you get a really, really nice tobacco -y note that comes into this, which blends nicely with the leather and the vanilla. And that's exactly why I haven't been able to wear this, because this is not a good perfume for heat at all. It's far too cloying, um, because when you spray it, you, you notice it straight away. It, it does lift up really, really well now. You know, a creamy, leathery tobacco fragrance on a hot day is my idea of hell. However, on a cold day or a crisp day, this is going to be absolutely awesome. From my limited um, sampling or, or test wearings of this, I can tell you that it does last. It has a good level of projection. Um, Siage is pretty good, but it, it sits above your skin for what seems like a very, very long time. You know, I've worn it in the evenings for a good few hours before sort of having a bath and going to bed. So. It seems to me that it will last. I think it's, it's certainly one that's going to do really, really well on a cold day because I think it's got enough heft 
to sort of cut through the air and just keep you in that lovely warm cozy thing but the idea of wearing this outside at the moment is not um, something that fills me with much uh, optimism so it's not going to happen um, but hopefully you know in the winter I'll come back to it or maybe just when it cools down a bit I'll come back to it and we can do a bit more of a thorough review on it but it's a, if, you, if you like Spice Bomb this is a no-brainer they cost I think £49 from Aroma Concepts and there is also um, if you wanted to take advantage of that there is the Questioning Sense discount which is 10% and I think that's QSense 10 so that just makes it a little bit cheaper I mean obviously you know if, if you if you love the original and you just want to wear the original then that's absolutely fine but I think it's it's a good interpretation of it there are some slight tweaks I think the tobacco is a little bit more more pronounced than this one especially as the tobacco seems to arrive a lot quicker. But if you like that kind of creamy, sort of spicy fragrance, then you will enjoy this one for sure. They've done a very good job of it. Um, I'm a little, as I said earlier, a little bit disappointed that they had an option, you know, they had an opportunity to make some, some new fragrances, but, you know, they're playing it safe and, they're, you know, they're releasing these because, they're, you know, it's a popular fragrance and they know it will do well. But, and, and, you know, importantly, I think they've done a good job of it and, you know, they've done it well. So if you're interested in those sort of fragrances, it's well worth checking out. Now let's have a look at the other one. So let's have a look at Sept or Seven. Now I knew when my, my, my contact at Aroma, Con uh, Aroma Concepts told me that this was going to be inspired by Aventus and I just thought oh come on another another one another Aventus inspiration. You know the world's full of them and since you know I've, I've had this one which is Alexa the project alternative one, which was also from Aroma Concepts. I thought this is the only inspiration of Aventus I'm ever going to need. This is the fruity, perfect, perfect, perfect representation of a fruity batch of Aventus. And I love this one. You can see how much of that I've worn. So, you know, I'm not really fussed about the whole Aventus DNA. I like this one because it's a good one for work. Um, so I wasn't that fussed about this. So when it arrived, I was like, okay, well, let's have a look at it. Uh, and then I was actually quite surprised. They've this isn't a straight Aventus interpretation. They have used the base of Aventus, but they've put some twists and turns in the opening of it to make it really, really rather fun. So what you have, if we go up the notes, you'll see where the differences are. On the top, the first thing you'll notice is there's melon. Um, there's this melon and cucumber marriage that sits together with the pineapple, then the bergamot, the black currant, the patchouli, the jasmine, the sage, basil, musk, woody notes, vanilla, and ambergris. You can almost recite that note listing in your sleep because it's so, so familiar. And I'm so over it. But this little bit of a twist at the top does something quite amazing. Because what you get, let's spray it again. Again, the atomizers are fabulous. You just get this beautiful melon. It's almost like they've taken the top of Millicent Imperial and chapped it onto Aventus, and it works really, really well. The cucumber gives it a slightly fresher edge, and it just blends together to give it enough... Um, there's enough of a change to make it actually quite interesting. And I love this. This is one I have worn to work, and it's perfect. It really is a nice, zingy and fresh, but still fruity one. And what they've also done is they've taken away the birch. There's no smokiness in this one at all. So you have a much kind of cooler, refreshing take on Aventus, which is perfect for the summer. It's a very long lasting perfume. It has good projection. It has good sillage. It's not massive. It's not a beast, don't get me wrong, but it does seem to last very, very well. And it, it, you know, importantly at the moment, it's coping very well with the heat. So if you're looking for something that's slightly different, but I mean, I understand why they've done it because what they've done is they've taken a very, very popular fragrance. So they're on safe ground. They obviously know how they can, you know, they can replicate the fragrance well, so that's fine. Um, you know, everyone can replicate it well, it seems, apart from the company that originally made it. <laughs> they seem to have all sorts of trouble with their batch variations, whereas lots of the other clone houses don't seem to have those issues at all. They can make a pretty good um, clone of it. But just by tweaking it, by adding that, that cucumber, and it's interesting because it's the melon that you pick up on. First of all, that's the most important note. This melon leads the charge. But what, the, and it, it, to be fair, it kind of disappears into the pineapple relatively quickly. But the, for me, the cucumber seems to stay on and it just adds this slightly more uplifting uh, note that runs through the life of the perfume. Obviously, when you get into the deep dry down, it's all kind of dissipated and you're left with you know, the dry down of Aventus, effectively. But there's enough tweaks and changes at the start to make it more, more interesting. So you know, my dread soon disappeared when I smelt it and thought, actually, this is a pretty good fragrance. And they're both excellent. The quality is there. 
you know, they wear well. Um, what I, well, what I can say, we is worn well in the house. I'm sure it'll wear 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 wear. Can't speak today. I'm sure it will wear well outside. So you, you know, we have two excellent perfumes, uh, and I think you know that forty nine pounds is a good price for them. If you like Aventus, if you like Spice Bomb, there's absolutely no reason why you're not going to enjoy these two. So if that's you know the the kind of perfumes that fly your kite, then um, you know they're well worth having a look at. So there you have it. This is my take on North Stag Sept and North Stag Wheat um, from Aroma Concepts. So thank you very much for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. Obviously, we'll be back soon with more as soon as we can. So cheers, thanks, and bye.